This is home. And our roots run as deep as the love we have for this place. Owned by the same Cincinnati company for more than 70 years. And what matters to you matters to us. This is WCPO 9 News. We thank you for choosing us. I'm Evan Millward. Here's a look at some of the top stories at this hour. Kentucky's Supreme Court has spoken challenging Governor Andy Bashir's emergency powers. The court on Saturday ruled a lower court should not have blocked bills limiting the governor's emergency orders to 30 days. This case isn't over, but dissolution of Bashir's injunction would mean the contested bills become law and they stay that way unless reversed by the court system. In a statement, a Bashir spokesperson condemned the court's ruling and argued that it represents a direct health threat to Kentuckians during the continuing pandemic. A Lawrenceburg police officer acted in self-defense in a deadly shooting last October, according to Dearborn County Prosecutor Lynn Deddens. An officer shot and killed 33-year-old Brandon Evans, responding to a disturbance call at Summit Point Apartments. Deddens says Evans was naked and holding a kitchen knife when he confronted the officer, then refused to drop the knife and ran at the officer who was backed against a wall. The officer fired six shots, killing Evans. Evans' girlfriend, Stacy Coyne, was found stabbed to death inside another apartment. The Black Family Reunion is back in the Tri-State after going virtual last year. The annual weekend celebration features food, entertainment, and community resources. Organizers say the three-day event usually draws about 10,000 people. They're hoping some will take advantage of one new resource this year, free COVID-19 vaccines. The Black Family Reunion continues Sunday at Sawyer Point with free Johnson & Johnson vaccines from noon to 4. Sherry, they're going to have a nice day for it, but it's going to be hot. It is going to be hot. In fact, we start out muggy in the morning with some areas of patchy fog out there. Lots of sunshine, though, for the day Sunday. We'll start to see some clouds uh, billowing during the late afternoon and early evening. There's a weak cold front trying to come through. It could spark a shower or maybe even a storm, more likely southeast Indiana, if at all. Otherwise, it's going to be the heat, as you said, Evan. 86 by noon, 90 degrees for a high at 4 p.m., and we keep the 90s going all week long.